pregnancy patrols and conception registries, Iran's abortion crackdown. Recently, the Iran Ministry of Health started conducting quote unquote pregnancy patrols and interrupting medical procedures that might affect the fertility of the women undergoing such procedures. With an official and legal permit, these operatives roam the wards of the major hospitals in the country and warn the young women not to go through with a hysterectomy, ovary removal, and other similar procedures, regardless of the reason. The health ministry also announced last month that, quote, aiding and abetting abortions will be considered a criminal offense. Any medical professionals taking part in such procedures will be heavily fined and could be completely disbarred. On top of this, the health ministry's youth population department recently announced that this is so crazy, that results and data of any woman visiting the hospital or pregnancy related tests, such as sonography, would be recorded in the country's new, quote, comprehensive pregnancy registration system. This means the moment the system learns a woman is pregnant, she will be under surveillance. Iran's declining birth rate has been a source of worry and consternation for the regime for many years. Supreme leader of Iran, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, has decreed that, quote, any action that stops, that slows or stop population growth should be done only after we have reached 150 million people. That is roughly double the current population. Despite various government incentives, state subsidies to families are unlikely to work, considering the protracted cost of living crisis devastating Iranians' livelihoods. In order to increase the population, alongside banning abortions, the government has barred the import of condoms, vasectomies, contraceptive advertisement, and the distribution of contraceptives. Yeah, Iran is one of those few countries where it's not developing like it's like third world but also suffering from underpopulation at the same time like usually mm. it's up usually like advanced countries are like suffering from underpopulation poorer countries are suffering from overpopulation uh but iran is suffering like it's actually a very bad mix right now because mm, but people are like i think devastating would be an understatement yeah yeah people are like we don't want to bring kids to this economy and they get really really triggered right like we had i saw a video of this mullah saying like don't worry about being poor and not having the money god will take care of it look i have 12 kids i don't remember what the number was but it was crazy high it was <gasps> like he the, the mullah was bragging about having 12 or 13 some crazy number i don't know exactly how oh of people kids. must have been like this rich bastard Oh, exactly. That was this reaction. I'm like, you are paying, getting paid with our tax money, okay? And you're like... You um, are fat off of our wealth. Yeah, and he was fat, actually. So that worked as well with the narrative, right? So they're like... <laughs> so they're like, this motherfucker, like, we can't afford... like, And he's like, if you're suffering... From, and he's not suffering from poverty, okay? He can afford for this because we're paying for it. But we're suffering, and he's telling us to just accept the suffering because children's are children are god blessing even like bring as many kids as you want uh, as you can as you possibly can and they're like by the way this is all i think intimidation tactic like they're not like tracking women down and yet okay to tell them like hey we know that you had a kid okay so make sure that kid stays alive they're just like it's just put out in public that you're in the system somewhere okay so just like, it's just like some level of introducing some level of paranoia, okay? That like, just be, just like, we're watching, you know? Like, it's not like, I don't think it's on, on, on an enforcement level yet, but the fact that this is being, like, they could also be, I don't know what their official statement is, because I know that they, they, not, uh, they came out and denied a lot of these things, right? So I just wanted to make sure that we actually mix. A lot the, of this is mention. revealed in documents that were leaked from the government. There was something that was, yeah, that's the fact that they're recording these stuff and all. There was part of this that was denied. I don't remember exactly which part. The, I think the hunting down woman part. Like that we're going to well, come. I, 
Yeah, the, haven't the registration haven't down women yet. The regis- the digital registry launched. Digital registry of pregnancies launched. Okay. Yeah, they, okay, okay. So I think what they would do is just like, this is just for, like, we're not like trying to intimidate it. This is just for medical records. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just like, just for, this is just for, um, you know, not, not, a, they, they're going to act like this is not, in any way a way to okay. uh, punish people who uh, who want to yeah go on here's what the regime says that this is for okay so they say that they have this pregnancy registry to help to keep track of women's pregnancies to make sure that they're staying healthy to make sure that they have access to programs yes. to make sure that they're hitting their developmental marks all this stuff okay but one big problem with this narrative is that the what happened recently is that they have actively discouraged doctors from offering women many different kinds of screenings essential prenatal screenings and to the extent that these prenatal screenings are no longer covered by insurance Okay. Prenatal screenings are not supposed to be offered by doctors or offered as part of the routine, you know, efforts of monitoring a pregnancy. They're only supposed to be given to women who explicitly ask for them or like there are extreme medical exceptions. Right. And so, and like I said, it's not even covered by insurance anymore. So it'd be hundreds of dollars, thousands of tumans, which would crush a lot of families. Right. So the, this is, so that women cannot discover that they have fetal abnormalities and are more likely to carry children to term. They're yeah, less yeah. likely to abort that fetus, which yeah, yeah. is ultimately going to mean that Iran is going to have and be be saddled with a bunch of medically needy children children that it cannot care for. Yeah, but also like I, I'm just I was just trying to give the other side, but it's true. Like, you know, you can see that there's so many different things that they're trying to do to make women have more children, and also it's in line with their propaganda. Like they're constantly telling you, their TV ads, you know, they're like religious people coming out and telling you that like you're supposed to that you're supposed to have more children, and it's a blessing, and it's it's supposed. It's, a religious duty and that we need soldiers in Imam Mahdi's army and all all that stuff, right? We need more Muslims, you know, so and also to the secular people, they try to keep saying how much it's how good of an experience it is, you know, how how much you're missing if you only have one child, you know, one child you know it's not psychologically good for for you to only have one child because they're going to be alone and they need friends like they keep like trying to push that on people and people are like if you want us to have more kids fix the economy you know what i mean like why would we this is bad advice you know what I mean? in this environment we shouldn't have more kids which is actually this is why i think iran has this combination because in poorer countries right the reason why you have more kids is because people have less um, information available to maintain, you know, to plan their family, right? And also they have less access to the means to control uh, how many kids they have, right? So it's less information and less access, right? Um, but in Iran, you have the combination of the country becoming poorer, but people are still educated and informed. So you know, so the poverty is something that, because in poorer country, the poverty will means that some poor people should not have kids because it's bad for them to have kids, right? But they just don't have the information or the hindsight or the access. But in Iran, they they know because of poverty they don't shouldn't have kids because they have the information and also they have they they look for the means to do it. So that combination means the poverty plus the information makes less people be interested in having kids. But but it's gonna to be fair to the mullahs, this is gonna they need <laughs> economically, this is going to be bad for you, I think, like having a but again, people can't make decisions. You can't expect people to be like for the sake of the economy or the for the sake of the country. Like I have to make decisions based on my life, 
okay? And my future. And I've never heard of someone being like, I'm having children for the economy. <laughs> that's what they're asking them to do. Like, yeah, do this yeah, for, yeah. like, we need your kids. Do this for the I sake know, of that our... too. Yeah, they're like, no. Um, what have, like, people are like, what have you done for us? Why do we, why do we have to make kids for you? Like, no, mm -hmm. no, thank you. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. I think um, one thing I wanted to highlight, especially, so the pregnancy patrol well, there's two things one i don't even know where i want to start okay let, let's just quickly so giving out contraceptives like condoms is now essentially banned like you're not allowed to do that at doctor's offices anymore or anything and so condoms are not i think it's important to highlight that condoms are not just for preventing pregnancy they're also for preventing a plethora of sexually transmitted diseases Okay. And so the fact that these are now extremely yeah. hard to come by is going to be a public health nightmare. Okay. I just want to point out that out too. Okay. Also, this has, this is, no, they're going to say, no, they're going to say the public, they're going to narrative is like the public health nightmare is because of people like us spreading degeneracy in the land. Because oh my God. if, if it was just a man and a woman, you know, married and then had sex after if it was just halal so this is basically yeah. the catholic church's argument and we've seen yeah. how that has affected africa the aids crisis in africa that's because of exactly that teaching abstinence only i could don't like don't, yeah. i will go off on that but i can't even so okay the other thing is is that this is not simply a women's rights issue this is a men's rights issue as well because men are not allowed to have vasectomies under the age of 35 and they're not allowed to do it without a certain number of children already. wait what really yeah yes okay i didn't know that yes so this is not just the government coming down on women this like is if you want to have government. no more kids you better have kids yeah yeah, yeah. oh my yeah, god yeah, yeah. okay can they do it? Like they need, there should be instructions on how to do it yourself on, at home. No, it's, that's too dangerous. Armin, no, we can't say that no. on YouTube. Okay, no, never mind. Yeah, okay, okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just. I'm not serious. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Iranian man. Okay, protect your balls. <laughs> We're good. We're good. <laughs> um. So th this is not just about, this isn't just affecting one, one sex, right? This is an issue that affects everyone. And it's about the government's ability to control your body, what you choose to do with it, and also your own health decisions, which is obviously extremely authoritarian. We don't like fascism. Um, but okay, now let's get into these, like, <laughs> let's go into these pregnancy patrols, because this is a really important point that I want to make. So... In one report that I read, the pregnancy patrols were going around like a women's health ward of a local hospital, and they would go talk to women who were about to get surgery to try to talk them out of getting surgery. Now, one of the women who, who was interviewed about this was getting surgery because she had uterine cancer. And meanwhile, there is, you know, a religious morality police woman in her face talking do you really need the surgery have you had enough kids do you think you really need this blah 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 like so it doesn't matter that this person's life is in danger experiencing the pain of uterine cancer okay it's only about producing children for the nation and as someone who um has like a disease that affects me in this way like it's uh a big part of my life and i'm very lucky in many ways about the uh like stage or advancement of my disease but i just think about all the other women who have what i have just much worse and how like, I can't explain to people how painful <laughs> it is and how most women go years and years and years experiencing this as a chronic everyday part of their life. And finally, I can't stress to you how hard it is to push for surgery. And then 
just thinking and how emotionally stressful it is. Like Armin could easily say that the most stressful part of my surgery was my emotional, <laughs> my emotional stress with the journey. Like the procedure was a cakewalk in comparison to the <laughs> emotional stress. And, um, and the anticipation of not knowing how the procedure is going to go and what has to be removed and all this stuff. And just knowing what that experience is like and how difficult it is. And then to think about if I was going through this, sitting in my surgery ward about to go under and some freaking religious morality woman came up in my face to then basically castigate me for pursuing this procedure, knowing nothing about the depths of pain that I've gone through because of this. I can't stress to you like, how much that gets to me and the fact that there are women now going through that like right now because of these policies and how i can't like just trying to imagine that happening to me i, I can't i don't even know if i can like put it into words the way it makes me feel yeah. well susie as a shia woman you have to understand that your uterus is a factory for imam mahdi's army okay mm -hmm. this is mm -hmm. seriously how they see it right you can't just like it, it's not just that it's not that something that belongs to you okay this is um a, a tool made by allah and it's been you are you're holding on to it it doesn't really belong to you and it it is meant to serve a purpose so it meant it's meant to create muslims right and you're just taking that responsibility away this is like been gifted upon you for you to use it in the way that Allah sees fit. You can't just mm. be like, you're just getting rid of this beautiful gift if you just get rid of it. So you just have to understand it. That's how it works. Um, God damn. Yeah. Okay, let's read some comments. <laughs> Doorknob Bed is saying uterus equals a tool of religious domination. That sounds about right. Um, <laughs> uh, so willfully says that are these rules for women of any age i cannot remember off the top of my head but it's essentially if you have the ability to have children this applies to you um so and that changes for many women depending on their age wait are, are these rules for yeah i mean women in iran could get it used to be they could get married by age nine but they changed that to 12 i think a couple of years ago so well, marriageable age doesn't have anything to do with the penalties regarding abortion. I know, like, basically, these rules apply to, I mean, women, girls as age as 12 could be legally, I think, pregnant in Iran, so it would apply to them. That's what I'm saying. Well, no, the restrictions on abortions apply to everyone, because that can happen before you reach marriageable age. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you could, like happen to i mean i guess how, how early can you get pregnant nine it, i mean it, it doesn't apply to rules. the case i like that okay, so that would be very apply. young if true yeah so i'm just saying it doesn't apply to a woman for every any age um any age that could get pregnant that's what i mean yes yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's what i mean okay okay, okay. um Okay, so <laughs> this comment did make me laugh, though. Forever Stormy is saying, this will only lead to an explosion in anal sex. That's what will happen. Mullahs are idiots. Okay, <laughs> I think based on what Arm communicates to me about the Atheist Republic Persian community, I think that would be all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's not, no, Forever Stormy is saying that's not what the mullahs want. Obviously, True. Forever Stormy... Forever Stormy doesn't have any issue with anal sex. It's like mm -hmm. she's like she's like mullahs. Think of think of the anal sex. Do you want more <laughs> anal sex? You don't want more anal sex. You idiots. There would be an explosion of anal sex. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with that. Armin, what's the name of the city where it's a joke that they only know how to have anal sex there? Gazmin. There's oh my there. god, your jokes yeah. about wait, Gazmin is so yeah. funny. <laughs> Gazmin is a city in Iran where apparently everybody, all the men are interested in anal sex and nothing else. 
and by nothing else i don't mean no other sex i literally mean like nothing else like that's like, like there's so many jokes about them right they're like if you want to cause like chaos and guys mean you could draw an ass on the wall and men will just like run towards it with their dicks out and break their dicks right and <laughs> And like, there's so many jokes. They say like, guys, the bravest man in the whole world is the Friday Imam of Ghazwin because he bends, he bends over uh, while having all these men behind him, right? So, <laughs> there's so many, there's so many jokes. Yeah, Ghazwin. Adam Rickster is saying, I should move to Iran. <laughs> <laughs> not, not just Ghazwin, <laughs> not, not all of you. There's so many jokes about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it even says like when when they say like, are you a, are you guys vini? Like sometimes in Iran that means like, are you are you somebody who enjoys anal sex? That's what it means. Like, oh, it's Ghazvini. synonymous. Yeah, synonymous. Like oh, <laughs> the, the dude is guys That like, what they what they actually mean is like he he likes it up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah uh okay wait now forever stormy is asking for one because we mean joke every week <laughs> <laughs> we should like i should look up some of the jokes okay but so they're, they're now like there are progressives in iran okay so that don't like guys many jokes they're like why do you think like they say that guys many jokes are um homophobic they're like people are because in Iran, people a lot of people associate um, wanting anal sex with being gay and making fun of it as anti-gay. So a lot of times when you make jokes about these, people are like, "That's not cool. This is homophobic and stuff like that." Um, yeah, I don't know, but you definitely could make a joke about it in a homophobic way if it's meant to be pejorative. But there's yeah, also but, nothing wrong with it. <laughs> no, no. The, the thing is that when 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 we are talking about it, we're not looking. We are people who don't associate like wanting anal sex with just being gay. You know what I mean? Like, but people say, well, that's how the society perceives it. And when you attack, when you make fun of it, the society also perceives it as you making fun mm. of gay people. So you're participating in homophobic behavior. But like. I don't know. I get you. Know, there is it's interesting to see that in Iran we have extremely religious people and also very progressive views have entered the scene. Very, very like progressive. Like this is this kind of makes sense, you know. I kind of get the point, but they're like mm -hmm. we have gotten too far. Like like wokeism has entered Iran, like to 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 ridiculous degrees as well. This I'm not saying this one is ridiculous. This actually kind of makes sense, but we'll see. Yeah. Like, like, for example, like we have had shows in Persian talking about LGBT rights, and we have had people telling us that we should shut up and take a back seat and let LGBT community speak. You know what I mean? Like, how could, like, that's how woke, like, people from Iran, like, that are living under the Islamic Republic and have more, you should have more concerns are telling us that when we have a show about LGBT, we should just have LGBT members members come and speak and shut up and say nothing oh that's my God. that's yes yeah, so yeah. oh my god so they're going full woke some that's some of so them, stupid of them. <laughs> yeah <laughs> especially if you're if that's directed towards you or babak because you guys are some of the most like hardcore lgbt supporters i know <laughs> you know what i could i should you know what i should have done i should have been mm. like i should have outwoke them i'm like did you just assume that i'm straight what did you just make that decision like where yeah. did you get where did you brought that from like i should have like hit them back like tell me how did you ask how what, why did you make that assumption i should have uh. you gotta also, turn the tables on them yeah also did you just assume that i'm a cis man yup yeah did you just make that assumption like i i'm you know i'm not saying i am i am or not but you just made that assumption out of nowhere i should have i, I should have outwoke them god damn it all right. Oh, how the turntables. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our Blasphemy that we continue to send you more Blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.